we are discussing specific um, implications of national culture on human resource issues and on, in this topic we are going to talk about job expectations and motivation policies so um, in different cultures people have different kind of job expectations and different type of motivation techniques are then employed to motivate them to work effectively in different cultures so let's take a look at how different motivation uh, techniques and classifications are available in literature there are many theories of motivations which have been de uh, developed there mainly in the United States in the 1950s and 60s. Uh, one of the three most important theories of motivation are achievement motive theory which was given by McClelland, then hierarchy of needs theory of Maslow, you have heard a lot of names, and after that hygiene and motivating factors theory given by Herzberg. In this topic, we cannot describe these theories. If you want to understand what these theories mean, you can consult any human resource or organizational behavior book or even in management books, these theories are discussed. So you can refer to them. Uh, McClelland, uh, he further suggested that the achievement motive theory has further implications and the further implication is that the economically advanced societies uh, in in those society people need to have more achievement and more achievement drive than economically less advanced societies so jo jo countries ya societies eco economically advanced hain advanced countries hain developed countries hain mclellan ke mutabik wahan pe un cultures mein logon ki achievement drive yani log chahte hain ke wo achieve kare unki achievement drive jo hai wo high hai this was proposed by mclellan aur uh, usne ye sabit is tarah se kiya ke jo ambitious log hain wo as a nation zyada successful aapko nazar aate hain it also implied ke jo individualistic nations hain wahan par logon ki need for achievement jo hai wo high hai yani ke jo individualistic log hain individualistic culture se belong karte hain uh, individualistic kya hai uske liye aapko individualism collectivism ka topic dekhna padega individualistic log jo hain wo unke andar achievement ki need achievement ka motive jo hai wo high hai because they are confident they want to uh, do things on their own that is why they have high achievement needs and uh, mclellan uh, implied that that is why they are more economically advanced so it is kind of a vicious cycle that economically advanced nations they have higher need for achievement then they have more individualistic culture individualism that leads to uh, more need for achievement and more need for achievement leads to higher achievement and then that uh, may, leads to a more economically advanced uh, com, uh, nation then we also have to take a look at the Maslow's hierarchy needs theory and Herzberg's hygiene motivation theory. And we can see that uh, if Maslow's need hierarchy theory and Herzberg's hygiene motivation theory, they are placed side by side, the levels they correspond to each other in such a way that the Maslow's lower level needs, which are the basic needs, they correspond with Herzberg's hygiene factors. Hygiene factors are the extrinsic factors which motivate a person, which are pay, uh, uh, job security, uh, benefits, um, uh, medical allowances, and so forth. So extrinsic rewards. And uh, Maslow's higher level needs, which are the social needs and the sex self-actualization needs, they correspond with Herzberg's motivating factors. Motivating factors are the intrinsic rewards and uh, th they are, uh, for example, the need for recognition, the need for acknowledgement, the need for um, uh, for participation, uh, and all these kind of things. So intrinsic rewards are the motivating factors, and the extrinsic rewards are the hygiene factors on um, on Herzberg's hygiene factors theory. 
so you can see that uh, when a person is on the lower level of needs yani uski basic needs jo hain wo usko unki requirement hoti hai to wo extrinsic factors se yani hygiene factors se motivate hota hai ek uh, it is very clear that a person who is poor who cannot uh, maintain the basic needs of his life apna khane peene ka bandobast nahi kar sakta वो इंट्रेंसिक uh, रिवॉर्ड से मोटिवेट नहीं होगा वो उस बात से मोटिवेट नहीं होगा कि उसको कितना अप्रिशिएट किया जा रहा है या उसको कितना रिकग्नीशन मिल रही है या उसको पार्टिसिपेशन मिल रही है डिसीजन मेकिंग में या नहीं उसको इस चीज़ से कंसर्न होगा कि उसको कितनी तनख्वाह मिल रही है उसकी जॉब सिक्योरिटी है या नहीं उसके बच्चे जो हैं उनका ख्याल रखने के लिए उसके पास सफिशेंट पैसे होंगे या नहीं उसके मेडिकल uh, रिक्वायरमेंट्स uh, के लिए मेडिकल फैसिलिटी अवेलेबल है या नहीं सो so, ये सब चीज़ें जो हैं वो उसको मोटिवेट करेंगी सो एक्सट्रेंसिक रिवॉर्ड्स उसको मोटिवेट करेंगे और अगर बेसिक uh, नीड्स जो हैं वो फुलफिल्ड हैं सेटिस्फाइड हैं तो फिर लोग जो हैं वो uh, अपनी हायर लेवल नीड्स की तरफ दे मूव ऑन टू द हायर लेवल नीड्स एंड पीपल हु हैव गॉट द बेसिक नीड्स फुलफिल्ड दे देन हैव हायर लेवल नीड्स उनकी सोशल नीड्स हैं उनकी सेल्फ एक्चुअलाइजेशन नीड्स हैं एंड दैट कॉरेस्पॉन्ड्स विद द मोटिवेटिंग फैक्टर्स ऑफ द हर्सबर्ग मोटिवेशन हाइजीन थ्यूरी इन द वे दैट पीपल हु आर ऑन द हायर लेवल ऑफ नीड्स विल बी सेटिसफाइड बाय द इंट्रेंसिक रिवॉर्ड्स दे विल बी सेटिसफाइड बाय हाउ मच ऑटोनमी दे हैव हाउ मच रिकग्नीशन दे get because their basic needs are already satisfied unko is baat se farak nahi padta ki unko tankhah kitni mil rahi hai kyunki unki basic need jo hai wo unki salary se linked nahi hai balki unki basic need ye hai ki wo jo kaam kar rahe hain usme unko satisfaction mil rahi hai nahi hai ya nahi so uh, when we look at it in a collective a collective manner uh, nations which are generally collectively poor and uh, which are less advanced which have less facilities for their people less ability to satisfy their basic needs wahan pe log jo hain wo um, in extrinsic rewards se uh, satisfy honge in extrinsic rewards se zyada motivate honge whereas the nations which are advanced which are more affluent which have more money uh, jahan pe job security hai jahan pe social security ka concept hai wahan pe Uh, जो एम्प्लॉज हैं वो इंट्रेंसिक रिवॉर्ड से सेटिसफाई होंगे सो द इंटरनेशनल ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजर हैज टू टेक केयर दैट इन इंटरनेशनल सिनेरियो वट टाइप ऑफ नीड्स आर देयर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर कल्चर एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दोज नीड्स देन द मोटिवेशन पॉलिसीज हैव टू बी ड्राफ्टेड द मोटिवेशन पॉलिसीज हैव टू बी डिजाइन एंड दैट काइंड ऑफ रिवॉर्ड एंड रिकग्नीशन स्ट्रैटेजी एंड पॉलिसी हैज़ टू बी अडोप्टेड विच इज सेटिसफाइंग द पर्टिकुलर नीड ऑफ द पीपल सो अगर उस कल्चर के अंदर लोगों की नीड फॉर अचीवमेंट हाई नहीं है और आप उनको टारगेट्स और ऑब्जेक्टिव दे रहे हैं और आपको लग रहा है कि वो इस चीज़ से खुश होंगे कि वो काम करके टारगेट्स अचीव कर रहे हैं तो आप एक गलत फैसला ले रहे हैं सो so आप एक इस ऐसे फैसला लेके इंटरनेशनल ह्यूमन रिसोर्स कॉन्टेक्स्ट के अंदर यू विल बी अ फेलियर सो दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच नीड्स टू बी टेकन इनटू अकाउंट व्हाट मोटिवेट्स अ पर्टिकुलर सोसाइटी एंड पीपल एग्जिस्टिंग इन दैट सोसाइटी